Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jen and I am a full-time reseller here in Los Angeles, California. And I resell on platforms like Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, TradeZ, and Depop. Today we are gonna be doing a what sold video. It's been quite a while since I've done one of these. So I'm excited to share some of my sales from January with you. January was a pretty good sales month. I had 86 sales, and if you see me looking down, it's because I'm looking at my notebook. My ASP, which stands for average sale price, was $86.30, so I'm very happy with that number. I'm gonna go over my eBay sales with you, my Macari sales with you, and then I'm gonna go over my fast sales with you. So those are sales that are sold within a week or less. And then I'll go over a few of my favorite Poshmark sales with you and then a few of my least favorite Poshmark sales with you. So 77% of my sales came from Poshmark. Poshmark is my best selling platform. I list everything to Poshmark first and then I use my cross-listing app called Vendu. I cross-list everything to Tradesy, Mercari, eBay, uh, what else? In Depop. So if you're not already using Vendu, I highly recommend it. It's a complete game changer. If I didn't have Vendu as my cross-listing app, I would not cross-list to other platforms. Like it's just, it's way too difficult without just having a nice simple app to do it for you. So if you guys are interested, I'll leave a link down in the description. If you use that link, you get, I believe you get $20 off your first month if I'm correct but I'll leave details down in the description. That's Lucy. Lose. <laughs> All right, so let's get into it. Uh, we're gonna start out with eBay sales first. And the first sale I'm gonna go over with you today is gonna be this pair of men's Levi's distressed 501 jeans. These sold for $41.60. I sourced these, I'm sorry, David sourced these off offer up and we paid, we got like a big bundle of jeans and we ended up paying $10 per pair. And so my cost of goods on this was $10 and our profit after fees was $26.43. Next is gonna be this new with tags Farm Rio Rainbow Toucan Smocked Dress. I really love this dress. I first of all love picking up Farm Rio. It's definitely in my top five favorite brands to resell. You guys are gonna see a lot of Farm Rio in this list today. But this sold for $145.50 on eBay. I sourced this at a buy sell trade store. My cost of goods for it was $42.50 and I profited $82.60. I am gonna go kind of fast because I'm gonna be going over 30 sales and I don't wanna keep you guys here all day. So number three is gonna be this vintage Liz Baker funky colorful kimono. I picked this up at the bins and I'm so glad I did because it ended up selling on eBay for $58.90. I was not expecting it to sell for that much, but it did. And my cost of goods on this was a dollar and I profited $49.71. So for something I picked up at the bins, it was vintage and yeah, it definitely sold based off style. It had a really fun pop of color colors and I just really love the design on this. So very happy I picked that up. Next is gonna be these Mother of the Weekend Flare Fray jeans and these sold for $99.10. I sourced these at a buy sell trade store. My cost of goods for these was $25 and after fees and cost of goods, my profit was $59.57. Mother is definitely one of my favorite jean brands to resell. I have gotten pickier with what type of styles I pick up from them. Um, always love a high rise and a flare leg. Some of their skinny jeans, if they're marked up, they're just not really worth it just because they're kind of like outdated but if I will pick them up for the right price. Next is gonna be this Johnny Was Black Lace Kimono. 
I sold this for $150.40. I sourced this at a buy sell trade store as well. My cost of goods for this equaled out to be $550 this day. I had some trading credit and after dividing everything up and all of that jazz, my cost of goods for everything or for each thing came out to $550. So that was awesome. I think it was originally like $45. So yeah, $550 was really nice. I profited $122.30 off this kimono. Johnny Was has been selling very, very well for me lately. Luckily, I've been coming across it a lot, which I love. Another favorite brand in my top five favorite brands to sell. It sells really good for me on eBay. So if you guys have any Johnny Was clothing items, I would definitely cross-list them over to eBay because yeah, it's been, it's been selling really well. Next is going to be this white and worn 100% cashmere convertible shawl wrap. I had this for so long and I didn't have it listed. I had it hung up on one of these racks because I, it was just something I wasn't excited about. I sourced it like back in May or April and yeah, it's just been sitting in my apartment collecting dust basically and so I listed it and it sold probably like two weeks after listing so I was sitting on a hundred dollars because it sold for a hundred and thirty six dollars I sourced this at a goodwill my cost of goods for this was only five ninety nine and so after fees and everything my profit was one hundred and eleven dollars and ninety one cents white and warren isn't really like a bolo brand by any means. I have a few white and worn pieces in my closet that have just been sitting forever. But um, yeah, I, I don't know if I got lucky or if it's because it was cashmere, but yeah, that was a really awesome sale. Okay, next going into Macari sales. The first sale is gonna be these Mother, the Insider Crop Fray jeans in Double Trouble. These sold for $80. I sourced these at a Buffalo exchange the same day I sourced the Johnny Was kimono, so they came up to $5.50 and I profited $63.50 on these. Alrighty, next are going to be these Avocado Phoenix Fire Seamless Black Leggings. Avocado is a pretty good athleisure brand to be on the lookout for. I picked these leggings up at the bin, so I had very little into them. And they sold for $38 on Macari. I had $150 into these, and so I profited $31.30. Let me know down in the comments if you guys would like me to do an athleisure workout loungewear bolo brand list. Um, I really love athleisure and I I feel like I know like a pretty good amount of like good brands. So if that's something you guys want me to share with you, definitely know down in the comments and that can be a video that I do in the future. Alrighty, next is gonna be this new with tags, Nike's Woman 3X, great size, quarter zip pullover. David had gotten me a super cool mystery box from some website, liquidation website. Uh, for Christmas. I thought it was such a cool gift. And so this was one of the items that was in the box and it sold for $45. So I had nothing into this. It was pure profit, which was awesome. And I profited $38.89 off this. All right, next is going to be one of my other favorite brands to sell and it's going to be the brand Stodd. This dress was so cute. It was called the Tropical Organza Shift Dress. And I picked this up at a buy sell trade store as well. And I definitely paid out for it. I paid $65 for it, but it was well worth it because it sold on Macari for $200 and I profited $109.84. All right, so jumping into my Poshmark sales that sold in under a week. So these are sales that sold in two days, the same day, three days, anything under a week. So these are definitely brands and styles that you want to remember because they sold really fast for me and they can potentially sell really fast for you too. So the first one's going to be this brand that I've never heard of or come across. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right, but it's Pitusa, P-I-T-U-S-A. 
I don't know. So this Patusa Boho Swim Cover, this was super cute and caught my eye because on the brand tag, it said it was made in India and I saw that the brand was sold on Revolve. So I definitely picked it up. It sold same day, just a few hours after I had listed it and it sold for $60. I had $11.99 into it, and so my profit after fees was $36.01. I have really been loving selling men's Lululemon items too. They just sell so well for me. Sell so much more for what women sell for too. So be on the lookout for men's Lululemon activewear, um, specifically these styles. So I sold these men's Lululemon City Sweat Joggers and I sold these overnight. They sold for $75. I picked these up at a Goodwill and my cost of goods into them was $5.47. So after fees, my profit was $54.53. So for a pair of joggers, that is awesome. All right, next is going to be this Women's Patagonia Micro Puff Hooded Jacket. I really love selling uh, the puffer jackets from Patagonia. I love selling Patagonia in general, but the Micro Puff Hooded Jackets, I would say are more in demand and they sell for more. They're like $360 jackets, I think. Sold in five days. It sold on Poshmark on an offer to me and it sold for $200. I had picked this up from a buy sell trade store and I paid up for it. I paid $55 and it was well worth it because I ended up making $105 profit off this jacket. Next is going to be another men's Lululemon item. This is the At Ease Burnt Orange Sweatpants and this sold for $70. This sold in like five minutes. I had listed it. I went to go list another thing and I went to go look at like my likes and stuff and I had two different offers on these in under five minutes so that was just like crazy to me and I picked these up at a Goodwill for $15.99 I picked up the matching hoodie too and you'll see that in here as well but some a guy had messaged me on Macari saying that this was this like this style was in demand and it sure was because it sold so fast I profited $40.01 off of these joggers. So that's the At Ease Burnt Orange Sweatpants. Next is gonna be my other favorite brand to resell. It's gonna be Anina Bing. I just learned the correct way how to say that. For so long, I was saying Anin Bing, but it's Anina and it sounds way prettier. So this Anina Bing Tiger Graphic Crew Neck in cream, these are very in demand as well. And I was so lucky enough to get my hands on three when I went to the Rent the Runway sample sale. I kept one and then I sold the other two and weirdly they sold on the same day, two different platforms. So I'm gonna share both of those with you. So the first one sold on Poshmark and it sold for $150. That was on an offer to me. And my cost of goods for each of these sweatshirts was $39. So I profited $100.94 off the one that I sold on Poshmark. And then the one I sold on Macari, it sold for $130. But buyer had received it. She said that there was a spot on the back of the sleeve that I somehow did not see. And so we just kindly worked it out between each other and I ended up refunding her $30. So, uh, yeah, she ended up, when it sold, it was sold for $136. So I refunded her $30. So she paid $106 after refunds and everything. And so I made $48.17. And I'm still happy with that because that one was flawed. It was my bad, I didn't know. So I still think $40. $48 is still a great profit. And those sold in three days and those got an, an insane amount of attention. So hopefully in the future, I come across more of those. Uh, next is gonna be a Farm Rio piece. 
you're gonna see the next three items I'm gonna go over are items that I got from the sample sale. If you haven't checked out that sample sale haul, I will leave it linked down below. I got so many good things at the Rent the Runway sample sale. I can't wait to go back to another one, but yeah, I like so much good stuff. And a lot of it has sold already. I think I have just a few pieces left. This was the Farm Rio. I'm gonna murder this name. It's the diagonal button down dress. I don't know. This dress was, it was so beautiful. It, it's probably one of my favorite dresses I've ever sold or my favorite. It had so many different patterns and like pop of color and just totally farm Rio. It was really beautiful. This got an insane amount of attention as well. And it sold in four days for $255. I got a lot of low ball offers for this. And like I've said before on my channel, I'm not afraid to hold out for what price I want to get for that item. Like I stand my ground on the price because I know my clothing's worth. And so um, the cost of goods for this dress was only $39.89. And so I profited $162.61. All right, next is going to be another Farm Rio piece. And this was another amazing Farm Rio piece. I loved wearing it. It was so cute on. This was the Farm Rio Fruit Dreams Velvet Jumpsuit. And this sold full price on eBay. And it sold in just two days. Another item that got a lot of attention. It sold for $241.00. And I picked this up at the sample sale as well. My cost of goods on this was $66.90 and I ended up profiting $145.69. All right, next is gonna be a dress by the brand Rocco Sand. And this is gonna be the abstract plunge midi dress. This sold in just one day, it sold overnight. And I sold it for $175 on Poshmark. My cost of goods on this dress was $55.90. So after fees, I profited $84.10. Next is gonna be this Baya, I think that's how you pronounce it, by Johnny Was Bird Embroidered Cardigan. This cardigan was so pretty. I had listed it on eBay like before I went to bed and I woke up to an offer on it. I picked this up at a crossroads. I purchased this for $65 and I profited $124.89. And then the same day I had picked up a new with tags Johnny Was Silk Avalon dress. And this also sold overnight. This was another item that I had listed before bed and I woke up to an offer on eBay as well. So that's why I said Johnny Was does so well on eBay. But this sold for $180 and I had spent $65.64 on this dress. So I ended up profiting $90.15. Next we're gonna be these Sphinx Red Faux Leggings. I had these listed for $75 I think and they sold on Poshmark for $55. They sold in just two days. I had picked these up at a Goodwill for $5.59 and I profited $38.41 off these. I feel like the value of Spanx has kind of gone down, at least for me. I don't have much luck with it, but with the faux leather leggings, I always like have a super good sale. So definitely be on the lookout for those. Last super fast sale is gonna be this new with tags, J. Crew Sophie Blazer Cardigan and Leopard. This sold on Macari for a hundred dollars. This was new with tags, so I think that's why it sold for a little bit more. I sourced this at a buy sell trade store. My cost of goods for this blazer was $28 and so after fees I profited $58.80. I've mentioned this before in past videos but the Sophia blazer cardigan uh, by J. Crew always does super well so if you get it at a good price definitely pick it up. All right, so we're gonna go over my top five favorite Poshmark sales. So the first one's gonna be by one of my favorite brands to resell, and that brand is Joa Brown. This 
brand always sells so well for me and it sells pretty fast too, especially the joggers. But I picked both of these up at a buy sell trade store. I picked up a gray pair and a black pair and I spent $28 on each of them. They sold super fast and I got a lot of attention on them. And the gray one sold for $117 on Poshmark. So I profited $64.10 on those. And then the black pair sold on Poshmark as well. And so I sold those for $100 and I profited $52 off of those. So definitely be on the lookout for Joe Brown joggers. Next is gonna be this Reformation off the shoulder lace wedding dress. I picked this up at the Reformation sample sale uh, back in October, I think, or November. And I thought this was gonna sell for a lot more, but when checking comps, uh, $225 is around the amount that it's been selling for for others too. So I got an offer for $225. I accepted it. It's been sitting for a few months. Well, my cost of goods for this was $97.46. I profited $82.52 off this dress. So it's like a really good deal for a wedding dress. Next are going to be these Bombshell Sportswear Camo Leggings. This is a good athleisure brand to be on the lookout as well. These sold for $76. I had a cost of goods of $11.99 into them. I picked them up at a goodwill. And so my profit after fees was $47.31. Next is going to be a new with tags Doan Tarragon dress. This dress was super cute. It's perfect for the spring. It was purchased at the Doan sample sale that I had went to in October. I think I get the Reformation and Dylan sample sale mixed up, but it was one, and yeah, it was a few months ago. And so I picked this up there. I had $130 into this dress, and so I profited $83.60, which I am happy with. My last favorite sale off Poshmark is gonna be this Jenny Kane Cashmere Wool Blend waffle cardigan. I picked this up at a buy sell trade store. It sold on Poshmark for $215 and so I profited $100.94. Going into my five worst sales, honestly this month I didn't have a lot of like bad sales to where I didn't make that much profit. Uh, I think these were like the only ones. I didn't have any like bad buys, so I'm super thankful for that. But yeah, these are just items that I bought a long time ago or I made like a super small profit on. So number one is gonna be Gymshark. Gymshark twice movement leggings. I don't pick up Gymshark anymore. It just, it it's cheaply made and it's just, it's not worth it. And so these leggings sold for $19. I had these leggings for several months. My cost of goods on them was $5.99. So I ended up profiting $9.21, which isn't bad. I'm happy with that. Next is going to be this new with tags, Lulu's green skater dress. I've had this since the beginning of my reselling career, which is back in 2019. Yeah, I invested... $8.99 into this and I don't mind investing $8.99 into a Lulu's piece but it has to be like a special Lulu's piece like a they have really pretty maxi dresses I love picking up Lulu's maxi dresses especially if they're new with tags it sold for $20 and so I profited $7.01 and one cent off this and the last sale is gonna be another item that I picked up at the beginning of my reselling career I remember I used to pick up things based on how much they retailed for. That was one of those. So I saw Splendid selling at Nordstrom Rack for, you know, $100, 80, whatever. And so I was like, oh, like this must be a good brand. So uh, this Splendid crew neck pullover was $15. I had $6.99 into it. And so I made $5 and one cent. You live and you learn. I know what to pick up and what not to pick up now. That's why YouTube is so awesome because I've learned so much from YouTube. So if 
you are at the beginning of your reselling career, you're wanting to learn more tips and tricks, YouTube is definitely the place to do that. But yeah, those are some January sales I wanted to share with you guys. Honestly, that going into February, it, sales have been super slow for me. Like, I, did I make a sale today? I think I made one sale today. But like, it's just, it's been pretty bad. Let me know down in the comments if like your month is going like that too. So that like will kind of make me feel better. Hopefully it picks up. Um, and I've actually like been listening every day too. So I don't know, hopefully it picks up, fingers crossed. I haven't been sourcing in like a week. Uh, I had a little accident, so I'm carless and I'm getting a rental tomorrow and I cannot wait to go sourcing. So <laughs> I hope I find some good stuff. That's gonna be all for today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I did a little poll on my Instagram on if you guys wanted to see a wet sold or a vlog. I was gonna do both, but I've just been like a little funk this week, so I, I didn't feel like vlogging. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this wet sold. Let me know down in the comments what your favorite sale of mine was, or if you guys learned any brands. I love chatting with you guys down in the comments. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoyed today's video, please consider subscribing to my channel. I am trying to get monetized and just grow my YouTube channel and give it a thumbs up while you're at it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.